Nine four wheel might need it. <laughs> You're gonna need it today, I'm afraid. All right, heading out of the base camp. Got to use the wipers there a little bit. Never used a dash cam before. We don't know if the audio is going to be good or not. It's got a built-in mic, but I don't know. Don't really know. Find out in a minute, I suppose. I don't know if it's aim pointed uh, straight down the road or not. Can't tell. We actually bought this about, uh, I don't know. A while. A while ago. Bought the motorhome back in 1st of June, end of May. Probably bought this the end of June. Sounds never hooked right. it up. Just never hooked it up. Bought it used. Bought it on eBay. Never tried it out. Way. Sitting there at the house today. Thought, what the heck. So uh, we're going to head up here. and We're going to drive by a couple of real pretty little uh, riverfront campgrounds. At least one of them, see if they're plowed out. We don't even know if you can get into them. Right, <laughs> might not even be able to get into them. We got about uh, six, uh, six inches of snow about two nights ago. Roads still aren't very good, but... Just turn that fan down. We're just trying to do different things here. Right. I'm not even sure if it's recording. I don't know. <laughs> the screen is about this big, so... Yeah, I don't I can't know. Even see it from here. The instructions literally said plug in and unit starts recording. <laughs> well, then we should be recording. Uh, uh, I guess we are. So. <laughs> Man, yeah. I wish they would have done these roads a little better, but way better than they were yesterday, Don. Well, that's true. They've been Doesn't mean they're good. This one's way better. We had to take my 84-year-old uh, mother out yesterday to do her. Uh, you know, medicine run, grocery run, she's got dementia. So, it's part of the reason we're not uh, in Florida or Arizona right now. It is true. And yeah. we may speed up uh, some of this video in editing. Because I, I like to watch the travel videos, but I also uh, don't like to watch the same road for like 10 minutes. So. Exactly. But I haven't done that on... Uh, the editing yet sped up a video but I think you just click a button <laughs> most of the stuff today is all push and click you know So we're going to turn into a uh, little burg here, a little town, if you will, Scottville, Michigan. And uh, we're not there yet, but that's coming off the uh, highway. It's a cute little town, but they uh, really, other than a bar and a furniture store, and they do have a Dollar General, right? And I think they have one restaurant. Yeah, I gas station. Yeah, they do. Uh, yeah, the country uh, something up here. Burgers. Something. Yeah, Brenda's Burgers. Yeah. I think this place is called the Country Cafe or something. Something like that. It's not very big, though. Very small town. So, here we go now. We are actually entering uh, Scottville City Limits. And this is an old town in Michigan. It's about 10-12 uh, miles outside of Ludington, and Ludington's right on Lake Michigan, so this town kind of always took a backseat to the waterfront, you know, for tourist money and tourist dollars. It ebbs and flows. Sometimes there's more businesses downtown, and other times there's not many. I think there's two bars and a couple restaurants. Wesco Gas Station up here on your right.
that's really kind of then a little shell over there. So we got two gas stations. And of course you got a big uh, bottle and can liquor shop up here. <laughs> Man, you know, there's not a town in Michigan that doesn't have a liquor store in it. Uh, on that note, we should have went into Charlie's and got a beer and a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you need one. Yeah. Oh, man. Downtown Scottville. Should we stop and see if this thing's even working? No, we'll go home and see if we'll go Well, what if it's not working? Well, then we won't have any footage. <laughs> Oh, the fun we have. It's I a thrill. You YouTube, YouTube's an adventure. Yeah, well, it's an adventure, all right. You go out and you sure. do all this, you're like, do we have any footage? I don't oh. know. I've never used this camera before. I have no idea. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Welcome just, to our world. Right, beautiful river. We had a, a commenter ask about canoeing, and this has got to be one of the number one canoeing rivers. Oh, yeah, they canoe, they kayak. Yep. Tube. And there's a couple of liveries uh, right here in town, plus that uh, campground across the street, Henry's. Right. Uh, they have their own livery service where they'll take you up a uh, river, I don't know how many miles. As far as you want to go, there's different Well, like ones. a whole day canoe trip. Right. And you canoe all the way back, and the cool part is you end up at your campsite. That's awesome. Because the campsites are right along the river, so you literally can pull your canoe right up to your campsite. Right. That's and they also great. do tubing trips, so you can tube all the way down a half a day mm -hmm. or whatever you want, and you end up tubing right up to your campsite. Right. So once they drop yeah. you off, you can take your time and it's awesome. stop when you want to stop. But beautiful little river. Not a little river. It's a huge river. Oh, it's actually quite large. Yeah. It feeds out to the uh, Pier Marquette uh, Lake, Lake Pier Marquette, Pier Marquette Lake. And then uh, that's where the Badger goes out, and that all opens right up into Lake Michigan. So... Some people canoe all the way out, you know, but yep, it's pretty, pretty spot here along the river. It is. They have the Western Michigan Old Engine Club meets here. They yeah, have they their have uh, the shows and stuff yeah, they have there. shows if you're into the old, the old engines and old tractors and all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty much it. Uh, that's the old town of Scottville, which is still the new town of Scottville. <laughs> And uh, we'd like to take you through Henry's. I'd like to, we'd like to go through both these. I thought they might be a little more open. But they're definitely uh, not plowed out or ready for any wintertime uh, visitors. Might be able to get a little view of the river again up over here, though. This is a little uh, public boat launch if you uh, wanted to launch your own uh, canoes or whatever. And then you could canoe all the way down, like I say, to Lake Michigan and have somebody pick you up down there. But this is the uh, public launch here for the river. You'll be able to see across the street from the uh, launch, uh, Henry's campgrounds right across the street, right across the river. <laughs> but, you know, a hundred years ago, rivers were streets, kids. <laughs> it was like I-75. <laughs> well, that's how, you know. Well, that's true. If it wasn't for the Detroit River, Detroit wouldn't be there. Most big towns were all, all built around rivers, lakes. It was the transportation. But this is the public boat launch. They do keep this plot out. We do have a lot of wintertime fishermen, you know. People fish all winter long. Of course, ice fishing is usually huge. But this year, uh, the lakes don't have a lot of ice on them. We haven't had a lot of ice. But here's that uh, Pier Marquette River again. Boy, that's beautiful. I don't know if I, if I should have maybe slowed up on that corner. Maybe you can see. Let me back up here. I don't know what that looks like on a dash cam. But boy, that river curves up around that bend. But that whole bend around that building you see there, that house, if you can see it, we're not even sure what, we, what we're showing here. But that's all uh, Henry's campground there, all right here along the river. So you can see all the uh, electric posts, little picnic tables. And it is loaded up in the summertime. Loaded up. I think that slide goes into the water during the season. But beautiful fishing and uh, just uh, awesome water sports here in Michigan. For the three months uh, of the year or two. <laughs> but, you know, there's so much to do in the wintertime as well. It just seemed like there was a lot more to do when I was in my 20s. Oh, yeah, in the winter. <laughs> as you get older, uh, the skiing and the sledding doesn't seem quite as fun. But uh, that's just kind of a little quick tour of a couple of campgrounds. Just up the road from base camp for us. 
and we're checking out the new dash cam. Hopefully it worked. I don't know. Yeah, and maybe we didn't get any of this for all. <laughs> we don't know. The camera went black about 10 minutes ago, so. <laughs> <laughs> no idea what's going to yeah. happen. Well, we thought we'd do something a little different. I told Dawn we got a beautiful dash cam back there we've never plugged in, so. I'm going to be curious to see how the bumps on the road, does it have built-in stabilization? I, I don't, we don't know much about I don't know. it. It was a pretty good, highly recommended unit, but we'll see. And we're going to head back out now. This just kind of repeats the way we came in from Scottville. There's one of the river runs. That's just uh, not a campground, but a livery for uh, canoeing, mm -hmm. kayaking. I always forget to say kayaking. When we came up, it was all canoeing, you know, or right. tubing. We did tubing. We did a lot of but tubing. But the kayaking wasn't so big. They hadn't really, I guess the plastics came a long way and they started making all those plastic right, kayaks. So. Back in our day, the canoes were uh, aluminum, you know, or metal, <laughs> you know. And back in our day, they hollowed them out of a piece of oh, log. log. <laughs> they dug them out. Oh, man. Mm, <laughs> he frightens me. <laughs> and make sure when you're making your own dugout canoe, you got to make sure you flip it over a fire and you want to burn that inside because it really hardens and seals that wood real good. So make sure you don't want to burn the wood, but you want to charcoal it up real good. <laughs> wow. I watched too, way too much History Channel. <laughs> man, oh man, oh man. Mm -mm. Uh...